Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you about glue lambs and big spans. So if you like what you see today, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out fresh content. All right, so what you see here is a five and a half inch wide by 24 inch thick by 41 foot long engineered beam. And engineered beams are made to carry really big loads on commercial buildings and homes and things of that nature. We're using this glue lamp beam. It's not pressure treated. They don't make pressure treated beams this big. We can have them treated, but because we're waterproofing the deck, we're not gonna have this beam treated. We're just gonna go ahead and cover part of it in G-tape, not the whole thing so it can breathe, but we are going to use this beam to span about 36 to 37 feet in between our post locations. What we did is we omitted the center post on this project so that it's a driveway so they have a, a more free clear area underneath the deck. But to do that you got to build with big structured beams and that's what we have here and I wanted to explain a little bit to you what they are and what they look like. So let's go down here. This is probably the largest beam that I've ever set. I've set some similar before but I was had it done with a crane. Uh, but what a glue lamb looks like is it's, it's multiple pieces of 2 by material that are glued together and then they're sanded and they put a little bit of camphor in the beam. So it has a little bit of bow up and they do that on purpose so that when it's loaded it doesn't sag. So there's actually a side that's up and, and this side would be the upside and it says it See top right here so you got to make sure that you grade your beams and you set them accordingly to the top or bottom if you don't you're gonna be in trouble um, this beam as well also has a like a little bit of a curved bottom so it looks a little bit nicer we're actually gonna cover this up with some fascia boards so you probably won't see it but it will uh, still look nice from the inside where it's dry and from the outside which is going to be all faced off. So uh, this is a five, like I said before, it's five and a half inches wide and it's 24 inches thick. It can be any length you want. That's another cool thing about an engineered beam. You can specify, oh, I've got a 32 foot deck. I need 30, I usually order a foot extra, but this beam is probably around $35 a running foot. So it's not cheap. So this one beam was about 1500 bucks. Um, and now I have people that are like, hey, how come you don't use steel? I'm not a steel guy. Most of the hardware that's available to me is designed to be used with wood, not with steel. I'm not a welder. It's just getting another person involved. Some companies have welders on site or on their crew. That's great. I do not. So we like to build with wood over steel. Now we will be getting into some aluminum and steel framing in the future. But something with this kind of a span, it would take in a substantial steel I-beam as well. So anyway, just want to stick back to the we reasons that we're using the glue lambs, and it's really for strength. This lamb will hold up so much more weight and span so much further than a standard pressure-treated beam or if you laminate a couple of 2x12s or, or three 2x12s together. Okay, so over here, we have a smaller version of those, and these are three and a half by I think they're 10. Oh, they're nine. So these are three and a half by nines. And these are gonna be used in a different portion of our deck build. These are gonna be a, like an auxiliary part that's gonna fit in between the house and the beam. And then we're gonna hang all of our joists on that. They make glue lambs in all kinds of different sizes, all kinds of different lengths. They come in up to, I don't know, they, they bring them in to the uh, big distribution centers probably you know up to so many feet long and then they cut them down to the length that's needed they actually just probably use a chainsaw most of the time in the yard so the forklift guys just cut what they need load it up on a truck and ship it out but originally they come multiple lengths uh, super long and that's how I can get a 41 foot beam that'll span 36 feet all right guys well that's all I have for you on this so I appreciate you watching if you have any other questions you can leave them below or I'm sure there's those that, that are very proficient in glue lamps if you want to leave a comment do so and I'll try to get back to you in a timely fashion thanks for watching have a great day